There's a really fast way to install modules, and that's using the command line tool Drush. You can get to Drush by going out to drush.org, and if you look at the Resources tab, you can see all kinds of resources. Now, just because this is a command line, don't let that scare you. It's a really great tool. The first thing you need to do is go out to the Drupal site, find the module that you want, or the modules, and the key is to find out the actual file name of the module. So what I do is I go down and I, high, I just mouse over one of these links, either the zip file or the tar, and I look down in the lower left hand corner and I can see the actual name of the file. So in this case it's admin underscore menu. And that's what I want to tell Drush to use. So I have Drush installed. I'm going to go out to my terminal window. In, in Windows it'll be Command. And the first thing I have to do is change to my root, site root. Now one of the nice things in the command line is as you type uh, a directory name, you can hit Tab and it'll auto-complete. Let me try that again. And there I am, I'm in the root of my website. So I'm going to run Drush and I'm going to download DL admin underscore menu. I already have it uh, downloaded from my previous video. I'll say, yeah, download it anyway. It's going to get the most recent version, download it, put it into sites, all modules, right where it belongs. And then I'm going to say Drush, enable, admin, underscore, menu. And it's going to enable it, set my permissions, and clear my cache. So it's going to use it right away. So I'm going to go back to my site, go back to my home page. And you see the menu bar changed. I have a much more complete menu bar now. It disabled my actual toolbar that the, this menu bar replaced, and I'm ready to go. One last thing about Drush, if I go back to Terminal, I can also say Drush status. This will give me the status of my system. It tells you a lot of information, nice troubleshooting guide. There's lots of commands you can use with Drush, including downloading themes and enabling those. So get Drush installed on your system and start using it. You'll find it a, a very much of a time saver when you're working with modules.